the United Kingdom will double the number of Challenger 2 tanks transferred to Ukraine. The United Kingdom will increase the number of tanks it plans to transfer to Ukraine, and is helping to develop a consensus among allies on the transfer of weapons. Vadim Prostako, ambassador of Ukraine to the United Kingdom, shared this in an interview with the RFERL's Donbass. Realities Project The decision to double the number of Challenger 2 tanks that Ukraine will receive was made after Volodymyr Zelensky's visit to the United Kingdom. Vadim Prostako also pointed out the role of the United Kingdom in reaching a consensus among the Allies regarding the provision of arms to Ukraine. It was the same, by the way, with tanks e it was a breakthrough moment when it was necessary to overcome the reluctance of all other allies. And if you remember, even though the announcement was made, it took almost a week for the Prime Minister, Rishi Sunak Ied, to officially confirm it. At this time, the British were trying to convince the other allies that there were two options, either Britain makes this announcement alone and leads the way that everyone else has to follow or well, this very important step is taken by all together as one front, as NATO, he said. He also added that this is the principle the United Kingdom uses when it starts a dialogue on the transfer of fighter aircraft. In order to transfer such sophisticated equipment as fighter jets, which must be maintained, pilots and technicians must be trained, have targeting and an understanding of where, from where, who, and how to use them in a multi-vector war, this requires the cooperation of many allies. What the UK is doing is gradually building a consensus, Prostako added. According to the ambassador, Ukraine and the United Kingdom are constantly in dialogue about how and for what purpose certain weapons can be used to achieve superiority at the front. In addition to transferring the weapons of its own production, London also engages opportunities to purchase the necessary equipment from abroad. For example, the International Fund for Ukraine, IFU, in which other European partners also invest. This fund generally does not have a clear definition of what the money will be spent on. The general outline is for commercial supplies to Ukraine in 2023. All companies, even those from countries that are not very willing to supply us, are rushing into this fund, but for some reason, their appetite is growing for the money that the UK has found, Prostako emphasized. In addition, there is a fund that works on attracting and developing new technologies, namely drones and artificial intelligence. These funds are also open to Ukrainian companies. This is the first time I have observed that our defense industry, including small private companies, would be supported, Vadim Prostako added. Previously, the United Kingdom announced the transfer of 14 Challenger 2 tanks to Ukraine. They are expected to be delivered to Ukraine at the end of March. The British will also hand over 33 AS-90 self-propelled howitzers and bulldog armored personnel carriers to Ukraine. Currently, the Ukrainian military is undergoing training on these vehicles.